Hey guys, and welcome to this next episode of Photography Tips. I'm Danny Purrington, and today we're going to be talking about photography pricing guides and how you can get past the inquiry stage and turning those people and inquiries into more clients. So let's get started. <music> Okay, I'm so excited about this topic. Um, I get so many people asking me about my pricing guide, how I got it to where it is, how I decided what information is going to be put in there. So I figured it would really help other photographers if I created a video and just told you guys how I kind of did it and um, hopefully this will help you make your own. So the first thing that you really need to take into consideration is the design and layout of your pricing guide. So a couple of things to keep in mind is this pricing guide is just another way for you to show off your work. Your client has already come to your website, they've already inquired through you if they fill out a contact form on your website, um, if they you know, found you on Instagram and just emailed you through that, they've already seen your work on Instagram, but this is such a great opportunity for you to show more of what you're worth. So share as much photos as you can, put them strategically in places that look really beautiful. You know, make sure that you stick to your branding as well. So for example, if you go to my website, I have it in the description below for you guys to check out. Um, I have a lot of like geometric, like black squares and things like that. Uh, my colors are white and black and I have, you know, adventurous photos with like orange colors, some blue, um, a lot of browns, olives. So that's kind of like the colors of my brand. Make sure you have that branding down. You know what your main colors are, you know what your style is and what you want it to look like. And then bring that over to your pricing guide. So, you know, copy your website, make sure they're cohesive, and then use that in the layout and design of your guide. So then the second thing you really need to consider when you're making your pricing guide is what content you're going to have in your guide. So make sure that you're educating your client. Um, I know you guys have probably already heard this if you've talked to other photographers, but show them what you're worth. Tell them why you're worth that price that you're asking and tell them why it's important to have a professional photographer uh, instead of someone friend who has, you know, I guess a nice camera and is the cheaper option and can shoot your wedding. Why are you more important than that photographer? So in my pricing guide, and I'm going to kind of flip through some of the pages here so you can see, um, I talk about, okay, so why Danny? Why should I hire her? And I have literally a whole bio of my experience as a wedding photographer, you know, how I started with wedding coordinating and then I got into the wedding industry and I love being a photographer and just how this is my passion and I give 110% to every wedding. That's important to tell your client because, you know, they're not going to ask all the questions, but you want to make sure that you're answering those questions. You want to make sure that you are telling them what you are worth and why you are worth that price. Make sure you give them all the information that you're trying to answer every question that they could have. So for example, um, I go through, okay, well, what does the photo delivery process look like? Well, I'm going to shoot over 10,000 photos at your wedding and then I'm going to go through and select, you know, a good over a thousand, I guess, edit those, maybe call a little bit more, make it more selective. And then I'm going to deliver those photos to you in a two month maximum period. Um, and I'm always before for two months, always over deliver and make sure that you are not telling them, oh, well, I can get it to you in a month and then you're giving it two months later. That's not good. Make sure that you are over delivering. So tell them, okay, I can get it to you in two months max, but aim for one month. You know, that's what I typically do with my weddings. And every time I send my galleries to my brides, they're like, oh my gosh, this was so fast. Like I didn't know we were going to get our photos that fast. So when you over deliver like that, you're more likely going to get reviews and more people that are going to just give you so many more raves. Um, and then use those testimonials on your website. And you know what I did actually is I put them strategically in my pricing guide so that I make sure my client is seeing, hey, here's what other brides are saying about me. I'm really good at this. You should totally book me. You're going to have a similar experience. You know what I mean? Um, so make sure that you're just strategically laying out, okay, well, I'm going to put a big photo here with a review and then I'm going to make it really pretty. Um, and then the next page is just really going to be, you know, more education. Okay, well, how many hours is she going to need for a first look? 
make sure you're answering those questions because um, I, you know, personally, I got a lot of brides asking, well, okay, how many hours do I need you? You know, can we get away with the six hour option or do I really need the eight hour option or the 10 hours? I always make sure I answer that question. So if you're having a first look and you're having a grand exit, you're gonna need me for eight hours comfortably. If you're not doing either, you could possibly get away with six hours. So that helps me, especially, I guess, answer questions and limits the amount of questions I get in my inbox later, um, which helps me with my workflow and helps me uh, kind of streamline my process and limits the amount of emails I get in my inbox because I get a lot. <laughs> And we all know emails can be a little overwhelming, so the less emails we get, the better. <laughs> okay, your pricing. So make sure that you are not underestimating your prices. Use that experience that you have and make sure you're getting paid what you're worth. Um, when I was starting out, I was charging way less than I should have. And so many people told me, oh my gosh, you should be charging so much more. I didn't believe in myself and I didn't believe that I could charge you know, two grand, three grand for a wedding because I felt like, oh, I'm not professional, like I'm still part-time, I'm not taking it seriously. Girl or boy, whoever you are, <laughs> you are worth it. You are worth that price. If you are putting your all and your effort into it and you are doing the best that you can, that client found you because they saw something in your work that they like and you want to harness that. Make sure you get paid what you're supposed to get paid. No one is paying you to sit at your desk and edit those photos. No one is paying you to blog yourself, to work on your website, to work on your pricing guide. No one is paying you hourly. If this is the job that you want to do, make sure you are being compensated through your pay. You know, a lot of other things that clients don't consider is the expenses we have. So I try and educate my client, hey, I know this may be a bit of an investment for you, but let me tell you why this price is the way it is. I have so many expenses to pay. I have gear upkeep. I have software subscriptions. I have new gear to buy. I have new laptops to buy. I have, you know, I guess corrupt hard drives, corrupt cards that I need to pay for sometimes. It's that coverage. It's the insurance. There's so many things in your business that you are paying for and you're going to lose money if you're not paying, or I guess if you're not charging the right price. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. I have a really good pricing formula that's been shared with me through a couple other photographers. I would love to share it with you. Um, I don't want to publicize it because it's not my formula and I want to respect the other photographers that gave it to me. However, I would love to share it with you if you reach out to me, if you email me, if you message me, whatever you want, um, I will be more than happy to share it. But for that reason, I'm not going to share it on this video. So the last thing that you want to do is make sure you give a next step in your pricing guide. So the final page that I have in my guide, I'm going to display it here, is my CTA, my call to action. Okay, next step is we're going to meet. It can be in person if you're local to Orange County, California, or it can be over FaceTime if you're somewhere else in the country or you just, you know, are too lazy and you don't want to meet me, whatever. I'd rather have that face-to-face -face meeting than emailing back and forth 10,000 times with a bunch of questions. So I make sure it's clear that my client knows what the next step is. The next step is to reach out to me and make sure we schedule that meeting. Um, <clears throat> another thing to do is when you send your pricing guide, um, follow up with them a couple days later. Make sure, hey, just wanted to check, make sure you got the information I sent over. I just wanted to see if you had any questions. I would love to meet with you as a next step. Let me know when you're free. Are you available next week? You know, make sure you give that call to action and you're following up with them because they know what the next option is, but sometimes they're so busy planning their wedding, they forget to schedule it with you and they may forget that opportunity. You may book that date or, you know, something may happen where you don't end up booking that client. If you're really excited about that client, make sure you're following up. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, I do offer a service where I help you design your pricing guide and I can even help you know with the graphic design part of it if you just have no idea where to start. If you're interested in that, I have the link below for more information. Um, we can chat more about that if you fill out the form on my website and we can get you on your feet, booking more clients and making some money because we all wanna make money, right? That's all I have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Um, I am putting them out every Thursday, so make sure you are here and subscribe so you don't miss any more tips. Um, that's it. Would love to hear from you. Comment below, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah.